right, everybody, and... welcome back to season two of Critical Flail. Woo! 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 <laughs> Come on, so excited, Daddy. Yeah. Everybody drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, we'll start it off. DM can dictate when you drink too. So we'll start it off with a All right. little drink. We're not gonna make it through half an hour of this shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Everybody drink. Okay. <laughs> um I am doing something right here. Let's go ahead and get started. Why is it doing that? Oh, that's why. Let's turn that off and do that. All right. So you want to hear another story about the Avalonian Skies Special Operatives? Sure. Come have a seat, son. Once upon a time, there was a planet called Saul. Somewhere between 500 and 5,000 years ago. Sol reached a near-perfect utopian state with the majority of diseases cured, wars coming to an end, and everyone's focus on the development of technology and the betterment of humans. But like all good things, it had to come to an end. No one knows why, but the war to end all wars started. Millions of people died as the giant mechanical war machines marched against hyper-technological aircraft while missiles fired from halfway around the world. It doesn't matter who shot first. All we know is that this war fueled the craziness that was to come. Whether the planet retaliated in some mystical way or some dimensional experiment went wrong, nobody knows. But what we do know is that rifts, dimensional doorways, or whatever you want to call them, started opening up all over the world, letting all sorts of weird things onto that planet. There were vampires, zombies, demons, elves, dwarves, and leprechauns. Magic and monsters were real again. Almost all of humanity was destroyed during this cataclysm. They struggled for hundreds of years, starting settlements, and eventually established colonies or states that held their own against the chaos that came through the rifts. Technology was their only salvation. The biggest of these technological settlements was the Coalition States of America. It ran from Canada all the way down to the Lone Star State, and they hated the dimensional beings. They hunted anything that was different, used magic, or wasn't pure human. I don't know how they claim purity when so many of the hunters have been cybernetically enhanced to the point of not even resembling humans anymore. But that's why the Avalonian skies banded together. They met on an assignment against the coalition and did so well that they established their own covert mercenary company. And the first of these, we have Skylock that is uh, pacing back and forth in the kitchen looking for something to eat. Describe yourself, Skylock. My name is Skylock. I'm from a different dimension, plane, world, whatever you want to call it. I have a lot of secrets from people I'm around. I joke and laugh at it as it's a big thing, like I'm not scared. The truth is, I've been running from something my whole life. I used to have a family, but they were killed by the same being that is hunting me. I should talk to someone about my past, but I have trust issues, obviously. Then there is the issue with my drawings from my nightmares. I think I am losing control of my mind. Pacing back and forth, uh, indecisively trying to find something to eat, kind of uh, catching the eye of uh, Michael hanging out on the couch with the little girl. Michael, go ahead. I'm Michael Hicks. I've always had a dream to fly and be among the stars with the world in crisis. I'm striving to be the best pilot 
in the galaxy, as well as bringing hope to those who don't have it. And uh, off in the back corner, sitting quietly drinking, plotting his next scheme, we have Alara. Her, her, drink. Hello, my name. drink. <laughs> yes, drink with the DM. Yo, my name is Alaris Pure Still. I'm a former monk who knows how to have fun, live for today, unlike the boring old stiffs at the monastery. I am striving to make myself ultimate weapon so I can help people escape tyranny and oppression in this crazy world of ours. And because it's a lot of fun, you should see the chemicals I get to take. <laughs> <laughs> And off in the, uh, sitting up, uh, kind of, uh, watching the little girl on her visit, I, behind the computer, or playing on the little tablet is names, Artema. Name's Artema, but you can just call me Witch. As you can tell by my ears and my gears, I'm a female urban elf arcane trickster. I'm wanted in seven different coalition states for espionage, terrorism, and the theft and destruction of tons of corporate property. You see, I'm an agent of chaos, so you may have already guessed my motivations. I'll not rest until I dismantle the coalition brick by brick. All, all kind of hanging around on the first floor of their newly just fin finally finished, uh, still having the brand new paint smell of it refurbished underground missile silo that was left over from the thousands of years ago, found some ruins that general mercenaries have kind of wandering bands and daggers for hire and stuff. They kind of populate this, this, this little bit of ruins living in dirt and dust. And you guys managed to find a pretty decent one and have been making money and building an actual company name, the Avalon Skies, uh, the Avalon Skies Mercenary Company. It's shit, Avalon I fucked it up. Avalon Skies Special <laughs> Operations. Special Operations. I got to take a drink for that. There you go. Mm -hmm. I think that's true, man. I think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Mm -hmm. You guys have been uh, kind of keeping your ear to the ground. Entertaining the little girl Sarah, who you guys picked up through some unusual and incidents, who's kind of living on the in the ground floor, sitting there next to Michael, uh, watching watching whatever little animated together, and you guys have been kind of hearing uh, rumors of various jobs and things out there. There's kind of a little bit of a central post that you've been going, a little bar just down the corner that some shady people work at, but that's where the good paying jobs are, the shadier they are. So you guys are at home, chilling. What's to do? Yes, what is to do? We haven't, we haven't fucked with the coalition in a long time, guys. It's been about three or four <laughs> months. You guys have, yeah. Sorry. There's got to be someone out there willing to take up a contract against the coalition, right? So how do we get our name out there? Maybe online oh, yeah. for freaking like contracts or stuff. I've been promoting it. Yeah, yeah. Alara's been ice, the main contact. <laughs> <clears throat> so. What do we do? What are we going to do? We have everything that we need here. We just wait for someone to show up and you'll offer us a job? <laughs> well, how about you guys decide? I'm going to go to my room. If, if we haven't heard from anybody who got a job, uh, perhaps there... Sorry. What's that? I was going to say, there are... Uh... There are people that are willing to pay stuff that that you know specifically, Alara, down at the bar, down the street. If you guys want to get paid, you know I know where the hook. Come on, well, we'll go down the way. Well, all right. Is there um? 
to I want to turn the news station on on the TV. I want to hear like who's having trouble, who needs help, that kind of thing. Uh, the TVs are mostly lo local out here. It's really just local transmissions of anti-coalition sentiment and music. Not too, not too much on the way of entertainment. Any kind of CB radios or frequency? That's that basically. Can... That's basically what it what it is. Yeah, you can. You definitely have stuff to communicate. That you have I that say we one look into frequency cycle. and see if there's anything that's going on. Hey, we can never hurt as long as I get paid. You do. I go flipping through the channels and kind of hear. Can I hear? Yeah, Roger. Uh, we got we got a cherry tomato rolling down the hill in the southwest, or yeah, in the southwest. Oh, what? You serious about that? It's been pretty good farming. It's a. Uh... Oh man, yeah. Let's go to the bar. Maybe we should really go I'll tell you what, you guys go to the barn. I'll stay back here and just listen to the radio and see if I can pick up on anything. Oh. Uh, all right. We always got our communicators. So Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've always got my we, phone, so. Yeah, I have I'll a be in my room going over these just damn shit. I, I got a go in my room. I can get there pretty I quickly. I tell you, you get a lot more information from people in person, but that's just me, I guess. Shit, you can go without them if you want. <laughs> Alara, I will be following you. Let's go then. Indeed. Uh, you go heading what down out the street through the rubble drone. Uh, kind of a uh, half stone buildings kind of left standing or concrete stucco uh, a couple of uh, stone buildings it used to be two stories tall yours was is one of the few that is still remaining uh, walking down the street past you definitely see movement in the alleyways people smoking and little uh, electronic devices lighting their faces as you kind of buy them not really paying them much attention and then not paying you any attention. You enter into... You will go walking up to what looks like what would be a biker bar. A couple of uh, hover cycles out front, uh, a couple of motorcycles you go walking up and push through the... Uh, push through the glass door, entering in. And it's full of T-800 robots. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> Not yet. Just you wait. You uh, go uh, walking in. You see that this is very similar to the first bar that you guys entered in. Kind of seedy, bunch of guys in leather coats, elves, dwarves off in the uh, on either side, kind of pushing each other, and yeah, you know, just being generally boisterous. And the bartender. Spits into the glass. Pfft, wipes it out. Oh, that's hygienic. <laughs> hey, I'm claiming it is mine. Unless you want to drink out of it. Are you sure? I'll pass, buddy. Yeah, that's how I make it mine. So what are you be having? Mm. I think I'll have a Michelob Ultra. <laughs> you gotta pay us some money, damn it! <laughs> oh, I took a drink for that bad joke, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, the bartender uh, bartender reaches down underneath, lifts up a giant cooler, pulls out a beer. Drinking, dripping, ice dripping, ice cold. Now that's more right like Right in front it. of you. How much do I owe you? Six credits. Oh, that, only six? Cool. Thank you, and I tap my phone to the, uh, yep. to the card the reader. little electronic device on his uh, wrist blinks, and he nods, 
All right, perfect. Goes on to the. Anybody else want to ask questions? What's we came here for you, Alara? Yeah, I'm here. Now we just need to see if one of my good buddies around here. Are you looking into the crowd? Do I recognize anybody? Uh, you recognize the bartender knows some pretty good general information, but uh, that group that wears the uh, the flaming single wing on the side, uh, blue in the middle, the blue wing on a black circle mm -hmm. uh, on their shoulder. Uh, it's a mixture of of uh, half elves and even a couple of dark elves. Hmm. All right. Well, let's talk to him. Okay. Uh, you go walking over there. Hey, look at somebody's coming to celebrate his birthday. They say, kind of giving each other an eye and I and look back and forth to each other. Uh, two of the five have uh, the five people there. Hey, 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 it's always good to see you, folks. Uh huh. <laughs> so, what's bringing you around here? Oh, just the usual, this and that. Have a drink. Talk to my buddy here, look for some work. You know anybody who's got some work? So you're looking to encroach upon us again, huh? Try and take some from us? Hey, hey, uh, you, hey. You, you're a competition now. <laughs> competition? No problem. You want to leave it like that? I won't bother you with anything that I think that you might be more qualified to do. He kind of laughs and chuckles. Says, hey, one of us is qualified for something as he holds up a drink and takes a drink out of it. I pull out my sake and take a huge guzzle of it. <laughs> nice. Um, go ahead and make a persuasion check. Persuasion oh. it is. And if you drink in the game, you drink in real life, too. That's the <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Give me one second to do a persuasion check. Eleven. Oh, eleven. Um, looks at you, kind of nods, kind of taking it as a challenge. She reaches over, looking around. Hey, bartender, get me a bottle. And you know, half elves aren't really known for the constitution. But he goes and gets yeah. gets a bottle over and. Pours a big old highball glass full of some stuff that smells like a, a burnt cigar crossed with whiskey. You know, and he goes and takes a drink of it, finishes off the whole glass. And well, just, just because he's done that, I'm going to unscrew the top of my, my sake, my special homebrew personal use only sake. Okay. <laughs> and, and let him smell what it smells like. You can barely smell a thing. It's almost like pure... But I, I'm curious. That smells really good. <laughs> I can hardly smell a thing. I bet it goes down like water, doesn't it? It goes in. Uh, he, he's this. got a pipe to her. He, takes uh, he holds it up. May I? <laughs> he holds it up and says, may I? I don't normally advise people to do that, but if you want to, go for it. He looks at you, kind of slightly challenging, but slightly grateful. He takes a big old drink of it. And, and falls saving. on the fucking floor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Constitution saving throw at disadvantage. He still gets an 18. You rolled a nat 16 and nat 17. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, he's, he takes a big old drink of it, and he's kind of... You can tell he's definitely buzzed, but he's standing there and holding it together and slams it down. Now that's a drink. 
How about you uh, hook me up with some of that, and I'll hook you up with. I'll give you. I got a little lead on something. I can do that, but don't you tell anybody where you got it. I I sell a sake, but it's not under my name, and it's not as good as this. Hmm. That's that private stuff is the stuff I'll be wanting. I'll give. Okay, he says. Here, I got this little bit of information, he says, as he reaches over and kind of flicks his little mobile device in your in your direction, and your uh, little wrist, whatever, blinks, tick, tick, mess, uh, some data transmission received. Very good. The trade will be made, then. Where should I send it? To your usual place? Well, I'll have a jolly, a jolly old time in the vines, in the vineyards. He says, rather loudly slapping you on the back, and he motions for the rest of his crew to stand up, and they all start heading out, probably to start a fight with someone down some alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, so let's... You go, and you go heading back, and you see that... That information is talking about Project Cherry Bomb. Uh, somewhere there's been lots of intercepted radio chatter of uh, some un unknown weapon that is supposed to be transported from uh, from uh, San Antonio area down through the Lone Star State pa into the Pecos area. Hmm. It's a long ways. Well, it going four or five hundred miles an hour, that's oh, yeah. what, one day's <laughs> travel? <laughs> Can I have painted my stolen bike? Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. I imagined you did. Yeah, it's not... That even... along with your armor or whatever it was. Yep, I'm going to name it Witch Bolt. Nice. <laughs> uh... Yeah, there's no, there's a there's a job there, and this weapon uh, is it seems as if it's not the coalition that's transporting it through the Lone Star State. It seems more like it's some uh, some information that was intercepted from the uh, coalition so about got, some other somebody else who's so we got transporting. Private contractors transporting it, huh? Wonder if they're special forces. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder how special they are. Indeed. But it sounds like a lot of money, so we should probably take it. Let's see. What do you guys think? Michael, Skylar, you guys come up with anything good? Hearing everything over the radio? Uh, over the radio. Uh, as, as you're sitting back at the place by yourself, you get a knock on the door. Dick, 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 on the front door. Or no, you hear your receptionist. Did you guys? Are you guys paying a receptionist or not? We, yeah, I'm paying one. I steal people's okay. credit cards for a living, dude. I won't ever <laughs> <afford> cash. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. Michael, you get, you get a little. Someone here to see you about some work. Uh, uh, guys, she says, "Danny, Michael." Somebody just pin me that uh, they got some work for us. I'll be right back. I'm going to check on this. Yeah, go check on that because we got some work too. All right. So go downstairs and freaking – or upstairs. And yeah, yeah, upstairs. You guys are at the bar. And you go upstairs uh, taking uh, – Sarah stays behind playing as you go up to the front office and go walking out. And you see a gentleman there in a trench coat and a business suit with a briefcase sitting in his uh, lap. Kind of a gray walrusy type mustache and a little, uh, um, not quite a fedora, a rounder version, on his head, and he's sitting there clutching the briefcase nervously, looking around back and forth. That's the word you're thinking of, Tribly. Uh, go walk <laughs> up to him. I uh, put out my hand and shake it, and hey, is are you next? You wanted to talk to me? Yes, yes. I believe I have some information since you guys in the area. We were wanting to hire you. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, supposedly, uh, maybe three months ago or so, 
Somebody robbed ten million credits from a couple of banks. Let's go to and my then, office. Come on. Uh, uh, oh yes, of course. He says as he goes stumbling behind you. You go walking back to not, your office. Have in a the front hallway of our main office. That's kind of a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you go and so he take sits back down to the there and sit him down. And uh, he says, "Would you like some water?" He takes off his coat. Yes, please. Yes, please. As you go and pour some water, he takes it and says, "You can see the water trembling in it." He says. Hey, we just found this okay. out. It's it seems like there's team. some it seems like there's somebody after me to try and get this information from me. But we're willing to pay you a hundred thousand credits to find out who's after me, what this uh it, we're willing to pay you ten percent of whatever of this stolen money is. Really? So uh, it's, a what kind of information do you have for me to see? Well, it seems as if uh, he headed down, uh, took a charter to flight to Florida, but something about this information, and we think you guys would be able to figure it out. So Florida or um, Texas, I... guys? Is this kind of like a technical <laughs> age that somebody can see what I'm seeing through, like, a pair of glasses, or can I link up oh, with yeah, he, like, my other he... team? He goes, you've got a computer on your uh, desk, and he transfers the file to you. You go and open it up, and it shows uh, two banks in uh, in uh, Wis the Wisconsin Coalition area, south south of uh, the main capital, Chi-Town, by about 800 miles or so. That uh, There were two banks there that were robbed. They had a suspicion of a guy who always leaves a calling card, uh, and but for some reason What's something seemed on? off about this. Uh, he left a little uh, black daisy on the wherever he stole from. Hmm. Uh, go over to the computer, put in black daisy and death. You go, you go searching around, and not much information is known generally. But roll an investigation check. Uh oh, dead air. You know what that means. Uh oh, drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that means. Remember, boys and girls, <laughs> no drink. Oh, I got a drink. fucking twenty. <laughs> oh uh, shit. Okay. Uh, Chris, everybody Chris, fucking everybody drink. Everybody drink. Everybody drink. Everybody drink. <laughs> Seriously, a twenty on my fucking couch. <laughs> Hell yeah. So you are looking at looking through uh, historical files, but you find something about uh, not necessarily back rows. You decide to follow the lead of thieveries in this area. And it started out with local bank, uh, local uh, corner store robberies and, and stuff like that where they would start to find it. And it's kind of progressed, but yeah, it, it almost seems staged as if uh, somebody else, the way you're reading this and... It almost seems so if staged. If I put a pattern up on the freaking map, is there a pattern? Uh, the only pattern you notice is that it's getting from smaller to larger, and shush, is that it's uh, the the hits started out small and they got larger, and finally he made off with ten million credits. And All right, so he's, he's not a big guy. He's just someone getting lucky. We can take care of that. I, um, he'll I pay you 10% uh, my other guys. okay uh, job 10% of any money we require let go we uh, we uh, you guys recover 10% of whatever money you guys recover and guaranteed there so I turn around and look at him and I say so am I guaranteeing your safety now too because that's going to cost extra uh, help. Uh, okay. Um, um, uh, he says, uh, say, sorry. 
I'm distracted. The dog has uh, an yeah. The dog has an owie on his foot, and we're trying to man bandage it up oh, if, so he doesn't li keep licking at it. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you find that this almost seems staged the way that that it goes. And he says safety. Uh, the only safety we can count on is your professional. So this feels staged, like it's all set up? Uh, it's Yeah, it seems like he's trying to, almost as if he's trying to make himself seem like the Black the black Lotus. But, but uh, it's definitely put on by somebody else. So who sent you over here? You... I've come of my own volition. I, I'm just really? trying to get this, get the money back. I'm, I'm a, uh, I work for uh, Henson and Junior. Why were you banking sent over company? Because you guys are the best. Unless you don't want my money, I'll go and hire some punks off the street to just go and kill some bastards for ten thousand credits. Um. Hey, I have a question. Can I just open Michael's comms so that everybody can just hear this conversation? Uh, yeah. I was wearing okay. a pair of glasses that I was saying that I could freaking that they can see and everything. That oh, I'm to transmit to them. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about for the guy to transmit. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh. You're seeing everything he's seeing. Uh, I go sit down. Artema, roll a perception check. Okay. Perception it is. For Artema. Oh, Artema. Right. Perception. Wow. See that beard? 21. Haha. <laughs> 21. Um, you find that there's a. The way the code looks on this, as you're kind of seeing the way it's working, it's giving the the the, the uh the signal that it is has some uh, small file packet encrypted on it oh beautiful so do does I... he tell me that he found something encrypted uh yeah i'm like hey guys there's a uh, encrypted file in here so i stand up and i look at him so you're going to tell me what the encrypted file is about shh he says quiet don't go saying that too loud that was for your eyes only i've got to go i've got to go he stands up and starts to walk out the door putting his hat on his putting his coat on as quick as he can and you do know the, the safest place is to stay with us right <laughs> yeah but i can't i've got to go and report back it, it's you, it is a, this me. is 10 million credits tell or, me i'm sorry 100 million credits my name, I'm, I'm, uh, Chitin, Chitin Kita. Chitin Kita. All right, write that down, we'll need it. <laughs> we'll contact you. Uh, uh, no, I'll be in contact with you, he says as he takes off walking out the door and looking both Not ways, <laughs> goes hurrying into the street. All right, guys. Uh, I'm on the communicator now. All right, guys. Um, we have a choice. Do we want to go to hot, swamp-ass Texas, or do we want to go to beautiful, sunny Florida? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to Florida. <laughs> you want to go to Florida? Florida, really? They're, they're just as crazy as they are in Texas. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, but Texas is a different kind of crazy that I don't want to deal with. I mean, this guy just said 100 million credits and 10% of that. We better hope this guy is a quick spender. Yeah, if this guy rips us off, I'm seriously just going to kill him. I agree. I, I feel the same way. <laughs> like, I legit won't even hesitate. It's, un it's uncrypted file. It's what the fuck this is about. Yeah, I'm working on it. How do I do that? Uh, investigation, hacking. 
Awesome. Investigation plus 13. Okay. What was it? 18. 18. Uh, <laughs> you, you, well, you managed to bypass the firewall and gleam the cube and hack in the glowing neon lights blinking off your sunglasses as you're sitting there in the dark. Montage, hacking montage, and then you open it up and... Okay, what's, let's see what's in and, here. And uh, you see that you see that it is uh, it is the identity of of uh, Luther von Hendrick. Luther von Hendrick. Hum- who's writing that down? Um, uh, those guys. I have two of in mind. But... I remember everything. Oh man, you're gonna make me do this for you? I write it down. Luther von what? Hendrick. <laughs> You're gonna <laughs> make me do this? <laughs> I got to kill Hendrick. Luther Vandross? I will drink to that. <laughs> you know, uh, the next time you, his name comes up. <laughs> yep, I've got it. I've got it written Go lay down. down. Go lay down. Okay. We need to kill Luther Von Hendrick. That's our target. Give me 30 seconds. Uh, Take a drink. Yep, you, everybody so drink. Alone. He's he's not giving. He's not keeping it on. Just go lay down and go to sleep. Leave him alone. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, yes, drink. <laughs> uh, you guys are sitting there. Uh, so yeah, how are you guys uh, going to Florida? You guys have the name of this guy uh, and a picture of him. Uh, and all the info on. that he's, you have one of the hover bikes and one of the suits, the, uh, the mobile armor. Well, shit, one bike and the one mobile armor isn't going to get us there. Gonna... As of this time, you guys have 20,000 credits. Should we just buy a bike or maybe steal one? <laughs> There's, there's cars and I... other things. Is there any kind of like planes or shit that we can freaking maybe? Uh, rent? Did the more money you got, the yeah. Guys, would it be an investment if we just bought the other bike? I don't really want to when we could just go knock on our best friend the coalition's door and steal it. Of course, we'd be ready running know. coalition bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. We can retrofit one. Hmm. Yeah, this is a pickle. Pickles are good. How much does a hover bike cost? I look it up online real fast. Sorry, uh, my phone cut out just for a sec. That's okay. Uh, how much does a hover bike cost? Uh, you can get a pretty generic dollars. one for about uh, forty thousand credits. Is it gonna go as fast as our coalition one? No. How do I get one? Coalition of those? one picks it. How fast um, does it go? Those uh, that one goes maybe uh, 200, 250 miles an hour. Half so speed, make it a two day trip. Up. Yeah. Is there can a way guys... that we can put like an attachment to the bike that can freaking haul shit? If you guys are willing to put the time into it. Mm, that'll take too long is what that sounds like. <clears throat> we got to get there because if we don't do combat tonight, I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody pile on the bike, damn it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Three, gaming I three people, including a big-ass Dragonborn in the bike with Michael driving the suit. <laughs> hey, somebody can jump on the back of my suit. Right in between the jet thrusters that have the two wings. <laughs> it won't take me that long to put a to handle on my freaking back of my neck. But they'd still cook alive. It, you can you can definitely do it. They, they're, there's I room do enough it. for a person. Okay. All right. Who's who's flying? Is this who's riding? Is this cape then? I'm flying Joe? the hover bike. I painted it so I get. You're flying the hoverbike. 
Joe, you're yeah, the crazy one. Yeah. You're gonna be on the back of me. <laughs> you know, but I'm the one who is chemically enhanced to have much greater senses than you could possibly have, right? Yeah, but we're just going to Florida. It's not like we're driving into a battlefield. That's I fine. I find it funny how I like I just out like it out of my room onto the back <laughs> of a bike. No, I'm, I'm talking right. to you in the freaking like headset. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. I was like, that's kind of So funny. if you're going to come with us, you better get your ass down here and get on the back of my freaking suit, or I'm going to leave you here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got to go, boys. It's already... Man, son of a bitch, man. The way I'm treated. Go to make a dexterity Okay, I'll throw. come back and figure that out in a minute. I go and get on the back of his suit. Okay, go to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, please roll high. Yes. Come on. Dead air. We got a drink. D20. Oh. Sorry. It's not my fault. Well, Joe you has not gotten but... himself a set of dice yet. He does it on his phone. <laughs> 17. Soon. Soon. 17. Plus stuff. Uh... Yeah, you uh, you hang on and kind of flapping on the back of him like his cape, and you guys take off. You guys are gonna have to cut through coalition territory to get across Florida, as you're on the western side of it, and you need to go south and east. As you guys head down south uh, through the Nebraska area, and eventually make it to uh, northern north. What the hell is it called? Not Tennessee, Virginia, North Virginia. Or Virginia. As you guys go through uh, Virginia, sorry, geography brain fart, through Virginia and getting there as the sun is setting. You guys have, uh, yeah, most of the coalition territory, you're on the edges where the uh, forests are kind of, uh, kind of overgrown. And they, they kind of have a, flo a foggy mist rolling through the ground of all of them. Little sparks and flecks of light here and there from fireflies as they swirl around off in the distance in this kind of warm summer evening in Virginia or am I thinking Virginia? No, Tennessee one that blah, blah, blah. somewhere midway mid east uh you guys end up calling it can call it a night here or do you want to push on for another eight hours no, I'll pass the exhaustion I'll pass on exhaustion thank you very much <laughs> it's camp time Okay. Uh, we didn't really bring really any tents. I have a pack. Probably comes with Before a bed. Before we roll. go to sleep, I want to make sure yep. all the, the the bike and the mech or the suit are freaking fine and like any mechanical equipment checks. Okay. Um. Yeah. They they are overheated and stuff. You do have a little bit of oil to add a to just to top it off to make sure it's running smooth. You go ahead and do a self-diagnostic checks on everything. Everything seems to pass, uh, and you get a you end up uh, curling or sitting around a campfire, yawning, getting ready to call it a night. Uh, in the middle, on the very very tip of the border of what would be Kentucky and Tennessee, uh, very humid evening. Crickets chirping loudly. Uh, uh, this is why I didn't want to anybody, go to Texas. Anybody, <laughs> uh, <laughs> anybody keeping watch through the night? Yeah, I'll keep watch. I'm gonna build first myself shift a drone. All night. I swear to God, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> right? Dude, I'm gonna set my freaking armor up for like self defense mode or, or something like automatic. <laughs> I wish I could hook it up like that, but I think we need hardware for that. Yeah, I think so too. You guys, uh, you you kids and your technological things. <laughs> You're speaking another language. Hey man, I'm farming bitcoins over here. All right, so you can keep your judgment to yourself. <laughs> I didn't touch you for anything. Did I sound judgy? <laughs> I'm just saying I don't understand what the hell you're talking about. 
Like, especially that last thing, you're farming something? Where do you have a farm? How could you do that? <laughs> <laughs> could put up a mirage around us. It would take... Okay, yeah, it lasts for, it's a 10 minute casting time or maybe one hour, but either, I think it's 10 minute, one minute casting time. Either way, mm -hmm. it takes a few minutes and uh, yeah, it lasts for no concentration. Is that like a ritual or? Cool. No, those uh, no, feel like hours. Yeah. It's a spell. It's a spell. Oh. Okay. Yeah, uh, hallucinatory terrain. Oh, okay. So he's just going to put up a bunch of fake trees and shit? Yeah. All right. So you make it extra wooded and give yourself a little area of enclosure. Kind of. Uh, Mostly just to hide the vehicles. Okay. And roll your perception check for the first evening. Oh, okay. I gotta do that. Perception is... 13. You kind of hear uh, the sounds of uh, motor uh, motors rumbling off in the distance. In the far distance, guns firing. Hmm, sounds like the coalition eventually, is having a bad day. Eventually, it dies I out like after it. maybe 10 minutes. The night passes, stars, maybe a shooting star. You see a little glow blue of light. Not too unusual for this day and age, just shit happening everywhere my character is like seeing all this but totally not even caring and just looking at memes <laughs> from the 2000s <laughs> um who's taking second walk i will okay roll, roll perception back. check perception Seven. perception check Damn, that's some good uh, sake. <laughs> As he, the evening passes, and right before you pass out there, lasting on the tree, you just go reach over and tap someone on the shoulder. Odds or evens, Joe? Evens. You go and uh, you tap on some mound on the ground. Joe, you feel tick, tick, tick on your side as you smell alcohol. Pretty strongly as you wake up. Am I still dreaming? I could be a dream, but I don't know if you'd like it. No, you don't want my dreams, trust me. Okay. Uh, and you pass out on the ground right next to where he was laying. Go, Rook, your perception check for the third watch. And. 20. Nice. Dirty, or was uh, it a crit? Nope. A crit? crit? Everybody no. drink. Everybody drink? No, what? It was, it was a 20. Okay. Yeah, perception was... That ah. is 22. I'm drinking anyway. I didn't know if we were supposed to or not. <laughs> yeah, you said it was an actual 20. You okay, said it was an actual 20. Always... No, he doesn't have his character sheet in front of him. He doesn't know how much the pluses are. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, perception is plus two. So 22. Mm. I spilled on myself after drinking. Oh, you know what that means. I got to drink again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> you guys... <laughs> Take a shot! <laughs> no kidding. You're sitting there kind of no, nodding off. As you... Uh, as you 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 are sitting there leaning up against the tree contemplating the weird shit you just dreamed uh, dream, dreamed the stuff going through your mind and you begin feeling the ground with an ever so slight rumble and not no not not even a rumble more of like a hum kind of really subtly through the ground underneath you do I know what it is? Uh, some kind of weird vibration underneath. What do you do? 
It's uh, you, you can roll some kind of check if you want to try and get a hint. Uh, your choice: nature, perception, investigation. No, you already did perception. Uh, nature, history, or uh, history. Okay, go and roll a history check then. Plus two on history. Eighteen. Plus two is twenty. Leave him alone. Go lay down. Leave him alone. His foot is hurt. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm guys. Sorry. There's I'm some sorry. on-air I'm drama. I'm just laughing at you struggling right now. <laughs> I feel so bad. We'll be right back for a message from our sponsors. <laughs> we do have a sponsor, but we it's only for the podcast, not for the stream. So. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is an ad for the big stick, known as the Kid Be Good. Right. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, though. Um, yeah, you guys are uh, camping. Yeah, you feel this whoa, whoa, whoa throughout, and um, you rolled a history check, 20. Kind of, in this general area, the history of the area kind of tells, has... From what you've read, you've been doing some research over the past three months, just fresh out of a rift yourself. Uh, but you know that around this area kind of intrigued you, that there was unusual uh, extra planar activity, that portals were known to open up and not even long enough to le let anything through, that monsters or whatever was coming through, the portal would open up so quickly and close so quickly that they'd be caught halfway through and there'd be body parts just lying there throughout this region. That's gruesome. Thank you. <laughs> we got to get out of here, but I'm a the ground. Oh my God. Oh, your special ability. Uh, you automatically detect planar magic and just being so in tune with the ley lines. You know that a ley line, you can feel a ley line that intersects maybe four or five miles to the east. And specifically around the ley lines is where extra planar activity happens. And that woo, 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 woo is kind of growing a little bit. Oh, shit. That doesn't sound good. The question is... Do you wake us all up, or do you try and handle this on your own? That is the question. Because that'll interrupt our sleep. Which means we could get exhaustion from it. I'm going to say... Honestly, I'm thinking about detecting ley lines. Uh, yeah, you detect one about five five miles away that, uh, and that's where extra planar activity is known to known to happen. Uh, but and you feel the vibration getting louder, so extra planar getting closer. You can wake me up, Joe. I was the last one to freaking wake up, so I shouldn't be exhaustion. I wake up, Michael. I throw okay. a rock at him. Good. Like a pebble. <laughs> Ow! What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Shh. Shh. What? There's a vibration coming and getting more intense. Like, you know, riffs. Like how I got here. It's not like my ex-wife want to change her batteries. What? No, you, you don't <laughs> understand. For this part of the lab, for years, animal uh, monsters have come from other dimensions because the doors open, but they close so quickly they, well, basically get cut in half, or in fourths, or thirds, or however how much they get through. Scratch my eyes, stand up, freaking get dressed. <laughs> listen kind of like what direction is it and start looking in that direction and uh, investigation check 
the, see if I hear uh, anything. Or... Uh, go ahead and make a survival check. Fifteen. Oh, says, uh, Fifteen. Uh, plus stuff is two. Plus two is seventeen. So yeah, um, you don't. You kind of wake up wondering what the hell he's talking. He's talking until after a few seconds. Yeah, there's a vibration in the ground that's getting larger, but it is such a wide area that it's that it seems like it's coming from that you can't quite tell which direction it's coming from. You just know it's getting larger. It's getting, it is getting louder though, right? Yes, it is, uh, it's not getting louder, but the vibrations are getting more intense in the ground. Um, I'm gonna go jump in my suit and power it up. What's your uh, passive uh, perception there? Uh... Alara and Artemis. That's um, Artemis? ten plus your. That's ten plus that's your. Just, or... I think that's just wisdom plus ten. It's pat. Or yeah, wisdom yeah, plus ten. Right. 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 So wisdom plus ten. Twelve. Fifteen. Okay. Twelve. And fif fifteen. Wow. Um. Yeah. Uh. With your passive perception kind of rubbing your eyes and looking over and seeing the lights beginning to light up on the uh, mobile suit. And everybody's kind of looking around on edge. So we wake up? You wake up. Okay. Oh, you guys woke me up. You're so loud. The vibration in the ground catches your attention, and it's getting louder. And now you can actually kind of hear in the skies from the distance uh oh shit that, that's shit. getting closer guys we should just book and sleep you know seriously man i didn't have to wake you up i could have let you get cut in half <laughs> yeah Someone hey alara wake. wake up i kind of like, kinda like i say you turn away. all the lights off cover up the campfire turn up all lights you begin seeing a small black cloud just above the tree line, kind of heading your direction. And as it gets closer, you see a bunch of little black dots, maybe something like 17, Holy 18 little black dots. Shit, I'm just on the kind bike. Of flying. <laughs> uh, can, do you power it on? No, not yet, but I, I wait for everybody to get ready to go. Now we need to get the hell out of here. I'll hey, jump up and get on there too. They're, they're coming from uh, directly two miles. They're coming from directly east. They're about a mile away, a little less than. All right, guys. I uh, is everybody ready? Yeah, I think I'm so. ready to go. Which you ready to go All right, I start it up. Vroom. As your suit is powered on and everybody's awake and mounted up. And you begin seeing that this cloud is maybe 27 little dots that are all humanoid size. To Florida, with wings flying boys. in the back. They'll never um, catch us there. Make, well, actually to tell you the truth, with your fast ass suit and shit, no, they can't catch you. Um, so we're oh, going I'm straight sure to Florida. We can I'm sleep when we get there. I'm sure between... All four of you, one of you is going to succeed this check, so I won't make you roll. These are insect creatures that have kind of infested the areas around the America, Canada, where the temperature has kind of risen and it's almost kind of... They are known as Cytosix. They are uh, insect-like creatures that have formed colonies and hives throughout the I'm pretty the sure Cody would know that shit then, because he was from here. <laughs> yeah. You, you guys, one of you all know this, and you share the information. Wait, whatever. wait, wait, Cody, but... do you mean Artema? Artema. You gotta Artema. take a drink. <laughs> take a drink! <laughs> Sorry. Take a drink! <laughs> okay, I'll take a drink. Hey, I'll take a drink with you just because I want to. Solidarity, know, right? brothers, uh, everybody drink. I know, right? oh, uh... my, uh, my just has a little sip. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Whoever's listening, cheers to you. 
Yeah, I want to yeah, give a shout good. out to the one viewer that stuck with us this whole episode. You rock. Type in chat. <laughs> right on. Uh, you guys uh, continue on through the... As the sun is rising in the east, kind of beginning to blind you as you're kind of heading in a southeasterly direction. You continue on and... How high are you? You guys are flying above the treetops, I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, yeah I actually to fly a... about 40 feet high if you can do that. I would 40 say... feet above the treetops? I would say as high as we can go. What's the... Where does that end? The altitude of it? Yeah. Um... Ooh, I didn't do that research. Damn it. Caught That's me. A... Um... We will say at this time, one mile into the sky. Yep, that's where we're going. And you're flying. You see down below you little swarms and packs of little dinosaurs, little lizard-like creatures that are kind of like raptor-ish that stand maybe four feet tall, moving in almost like a bird-like bird -like flock, running in the middle of the grass plain. They stop, look up at you, and as you guys right by them, they turn and all skitter as a flock. Oh no, Michael left. <laughs> uh oh. Welcome back. Is Mike? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> you guys continue. For some reason, I lost you guys. Huh. That was interesting. Uh, the dinosaur—you see a little pack of dinosaurs flying, maybe a mile underneath you. That's kind of scurry like a flock. And as you guys fly over them, they take off, fluttering in a in a panic, and continue on. Uh flying over as the sun begins to rise to maybe about the noon time you guys are kind of starting to get hungry but you guys are noticing that the swamp lands are getting bigger and bigger and you kind of see that it kind of sinks down there's not so much a peninsula of uh florida anymore the the swamp lands eventually gives down to a to a uh to a beach with the waves crashing and kind of a cutoff or a castrated peninsula, if you were. Okay. Um, we're in Florida, right? Yep. You guys are at the southeastern beach of Florida. Or... Let's hit up. What? This, let's hit up a tavern so we can sleep this exhaustion off, because we probably got to roll for that now. Nah, not yet. It's you guys are. You guys have gotten enough sleepish. Oh, okay. Cool. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, right. Actually, the three of you who took watch make uh, con con saves. All right, here we go. Sixteen. Succeed. <laughs> Six. You have exhaustion. <laughs> yep, I knew it, dude. As soon as as soon as that happened, as soon as we woke up, I was like, it's over for me. Seventeen. Joe. Seventeen. Uh, okay. Um. You you pass. Uh, Artema, you're the only one with the as you uh, Yay, kind of getting tired, conditions. and you end up pulling off. You know, in Florida, it's a lot of swampland, and if there are people around here, they're in hidden, hidden little hovels scattered throughout the swamp, the beach. You just have to kind of look for them. Bros, we gotta like hit up Lauderdale and shit. I hear it's pretty fucking sweet. <laughs> Underwater. <laughs> the what? Oh, oh, Waterdale? Fort Underwater. Lauderdale, Florida. Hmm. Fort Lauderdale is underwater. What is this place you speak of? Oh, it was popular. It was a popular spring break destination in the 2000s. What's a spring break? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm the only one that looks at memes. Okay. As you guys are kind of standing there at the beach of Lauderdale, you see a skeleton on top of another skeleton. The one on the the one on top, kind of embracing the one below it, kind of float by. All right, let's find Remnants some people. of spring break. <laughs> <laughs> um. <clears throat> so, two people roll nature checks or survival. Your choice. My nature is plus five. Then do it, bro. Okay. 
Somebody else roll with him. Seventeen. I'll do it. Okay, roll three. Twenty-seven. <laughs> okay, so with a seventeen, is the higher of the two rolls. You uh, kind of begin to notice that there's little tracks that are not quite animal, definitely bipedal, that kind of all begin to focus towards towards the north a little bit. As you go heading back north, kind of following them, and the sounds of jungle <laughs> off in the distance as you guys uh, head up towards towards a bunch you enter a clearing with right in the middle a smoky fire pit a bunch of little straw huts all in a circle maybe a total of 12 13 of them all in a circle and you see uh women out there sitting around the fire kind of holding little pots over the fire shaking them around and singing a song oh that's my jam <laughs> that's your jam, he says. That's my jam, boys. Let's get in on it. Oh, hey, oh, oh. <laughs> I think he's at the best. I think you he's comes... delirious. No. <laughs> she, she, you drink. Oh, <laughs> okay. And you thought you were the crazy one, uh, Skylock. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably why I'm getting genders mixed up now, isn't it? Right. I'm sure that has nothing to do with the alcohol. <laughs> no, you go not at all. Into, you go enter in, entering into Florida and... Or circle fire pit. And you go walking up to them and kind of sit down, look over, smile and nod. They look over, sing an elf. You see that most of them are half elves and full elves with kind of reddish skin and kind of uh, and definitely blonde hair that flows down to most of their backs uh, the women sitting there topless with their little grass skirts kids running around naked around the fire and they look over kind of small at you at, along to the beat the city's kind of raise an eyebrow oh you're going to join us Okay, nodding, nodding. I try my best. Let's see how good I do. Uh, performance. Performance check. <laughs> oh, shit, I dropped my die. Die down, I got a drink. Uh, <laughs> 11 plus 516. No, it's 7. Can I, can I do it? 11. Oh. <laughs> Okay. They, they, no, they're, like they're having fun. Eventually, they come to accept you as all of you continue gathering around. What they're shaking around under the fire, these what's inside these little cups they're shaking over the fire, you begin hearing pop, 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 and you begin seeing little popcorn fly, kind of fly, uh, fly a lot of the cups as you sing along with them, and they turn and. Uh, after they're done singing and it's done popping, they turn around and start sharing it back and forth, and they even offer your, uh, you some there, uh, Artema. Well, I, gr I, I kind of casually just accept it, and I'm like, you know, usually when I'm in this situation, it's people offering me drugs, but I'll take popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I just said... carry mine with me. Luas Nuka. Luas Nuka. How many people says, talk Elvish here? I speak Elvish. I do too. And I understand all kinds of different languages. Uh, written. Oh, they, that's they, right. They're not quite speaking Elvish. It's some unusual Elvish Native American dialect that's kind of muted, mutated and formed into some... Uh, It'd be like speaking English to somebody who's speaking Cajun Creole. You know, I'm just, I'm, got you know, it. Got kind it. of. You can kind of make out what they're saying. They're saying something like, "Take, eat, share, enjoy." Hey, what's that guy's name that we're looking for? It is Luther Von. 
Okay. Luther von what? Luther von Hendrick. 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 Got mm -hmm. it. Luther von Hendrick. Does the name mean anything to you guys? And they kind of say something about... Uh... What kind of role would it be? Would it be insight or just an intelligence role for language or... Um... Let's see. What about... Probably both. Ooh. I've got Elvish. What about... Oh, shoot. You guys... Persuasion. They, what they speak is... Okay, uh... Sure. What they speak is uh, in between uh, Elvish and some Native American language. You guys. Well, don't sure, quite... I got you. Yeah, right. it, you can kind of make out what they say, but. Persuasion. I'm just saying that I want to make an insight too. I only rolled twelve. Okay. And insight. Insight. Nat twenty plus yeah. six. Yeah, drink. Drink. I want to see that um, drinks upside down, boys. <laughs> Let us say that at this time, damn, I'm getting you're a little kind of looking at them, here. and you can definitely make out that they don't understand a word you're saying, <laughs> and they begin they begin drawing a little thing in the sand, and you're looking over at it, uh, Skylock, and you see Skylock. that. You understand that that says exactly. What are you saying? And everybody else is just looking at them drawing this <clears throat> weird symbol in the sand. That's, Somehow, you you've seen this in your dreams. Joke. You've seen this in your dreams before, and for some reason, you understand this written language. I don't know. Can I also use that language and draw in the sand? What do you want to draw? Um, draw the symbols I need to say that we're looking for that certain guy. What was his name? Luther again? von Hendrick. Luther von Hendrick. Luther Hendrick. von Hendrick. So I'm gonna take a drink. You kind of draw it out a little bit. Uh. You kind of come start scratching your head, Luther von Hendrick. How do I draw that? Uh, go ahead and make an or a history roll. Make a history roll. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, yeah, they definitely they understand. Michael von Hendrick. She looks over at you, shakes her head, raises her eyes. Oh. But he's but she draws on the she begins drawing another symbols more symbols on the ground, and she says, "Ships take off." It it says, "Ships take off for vacationing humans just a little bit to the northeast." <clears throat> Perfect. Okay. I take it you read it out loud. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Okay. We got what we need. Let's get out of here. You mount up again and take off and without a thank you, you see them giving you dirty look kind of tapping their feet. You. That... <laughs> oh, okay. You you th I would accept that from your character cuz most everybody else is kind of chaotic neutralish. Yeah, you I don't kinda... really give a crap at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. chaotic good. I would say thank you. Okay. I'm on the, at least I'm on my own ship, so like they can take off and I'll be still left there and like thank you very much and like Yeah. And they kind of mm -hmm. scratch their heads looking at your aircraft suit thing, humanoid looking thing flying off and scratching their heads wondering what the fuck is that thing? And you guys take off to the northwest. And as you're heading across it's time for some damn combat. Somebody Ooh. make a perception check. I'm doing it. <laughs> Crit fail. Oh, oh my god. Everybody drink. drink. <laughs> I gotta pour myself some more. Hold on. Oh. Damn you. I know, right? Oh. 
Got Where were we? Starting to feel Welcome it. to Critical <laughs> Fail. Where yeah, you're 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 Welcome to Critical Flail, where we turn dungeons. He cut out halfway. Yeah, yeah I, know. I know, right? Where we turn dungeons always... and dragons into what? A drinking game. Yeah, right. <laughs> Shout out to anyone who's ever done this before us. It's not exactly the most original idea. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, for those who might offend, be offended, but uh, Gabe is probably that one listener who is. I'm not uh, oh no! Wait, it's it's your uh, brother, isn't it, Cody? It could be. Yeah, because I I accidentally called that other group, my other Dungeons and Dragons group, and got him on the line, and he answered, and oops. <laughs> <laughs> but so apologies to him for whatever, and you. Uh, but okay, let's continue on. <laughs> Combat time! I crit failed. Combat let's do time. It. Uh, who else is good. making a perception check? Uh, Ronnie Alara, perception check. You make a perception. Nine. 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 And one. Nine. No. Nine. Nine and one is German for no. Nine. Nine. I really, I, I really it's Bob said time. No. <laughs> <laughs> I really want you guys to fight some Citizix, but in this option, we're going to go with something completely different. We're going to fight Care Bears? You, you guys are heading along and getting closer to a ley line. You can see the glowing, even in the daylight, of this huge beam of magical energy from the south to the north across your path. As you guys be getting close, getting closer, you see a humanoid kind of walking doosh, doosh, along the ley line, and he reaches up, and from what you can tell, you see that he's got a cape that's rattered and torn, kind of a respirator gas mask over his nose and mouth, leaving his eyes seen. They look completely normal and human, but he raises his hand up, and electric, elect, electrical sparks shoot out of his hand and beginning to form into a globe, a ball of magical energy as he throws it in your guy's direction. Uh, kind of looking down at the ground. There's got to be something down there. We got to be careful. We got to be careful looking at the ground. And you look up just in time. Make your everybody dexterity saving throw Artema at disadvantage. Got it. Dexterity saving throw? Yes. For an AOE attack? Yes. Well, I rolled 10. Okay. Wait, that's not right. It's a saving throw. Four. I rolled a 13. Okay. Everybody else? Joe, Joe and Aaron? I got myself a 7. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Plus <laughs> dexterity is five is so five plus seven is twelve. Okay. One more. Joe. 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 You're muted Joe. if you're trying to Joe. talk, Joe. Yeah, I know I'll have to take a drink for that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yes, indeed, <laughs> But uh, I got sixteen. Okay, so you're the only one that succeeds. As you see this modified fireball reflavored as a ball of lightning come rolling in your direction and explode, shooting lightning blasts in every direction. Give me a sec while I roll. 7, 11, 13, 15, 20. Can I use my new ability? What ability is that? Um, where I can re-roll re your saving uh, throw? one time per rest? Yep, you have to take that roll, whatever it is, but yes, you can re-roll. Twelve. Better. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. better, but still not enough, as everybody except for Skylock takes 28 points of damage. Skylock, oh, you take 14. I have, 
I have evasion, so when I fail one of these, I still get damage. Okay, so yeah, you take fourteen. You take, yep. You take half damage as you take fourteen points of damage. As <laughs> and That's you manage. Dipped. Let us say that. Go ahead and make an athletics check there, uh, Alara. Athletics, it is. I have a question, DM. Or acrobatics, Twelve. your choice. Okay. Same thing. Okay. Uh, what's that, uh, Cody? Okay. Um, I, can I use my uncanny dodge? Yes. Okay, so I have the damage. Yes. Which was so you three take fourteen and uh, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Yeah, takes, no, you take four because you, you take four. Did the half you damage. take fourteen. You no, take I fourteen. Take Michael takes twenty-eight. I'm sorry if my Bluetooth is cutting out. It's starting to get old, and I'm mean, needing to get a new one. It could just be your connection too. It's not like. Yeah, it's eh, not like we're close to Bluetooth. each other right now in this in these trying times. I know, right? We got we're all gonna one in, die. We one can't in Colorado, say it by one name. In two in Rio Rancho. But we all know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I will not say its name to refuse invoking it. Well, mostly just because YouTube will demonetize us. I know, right? Anyway. <laughs> Back to the game. Uh, Back to the real world. Everybody roll initiative. Woot, woot, woot. Drink. Initiative. Roll initiative. Let's drink. Ten. That wasn't a rule. Ten for you, Michael Hicks, is plus nine. Nineteen. Thirteen. Nineteen. Fifteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. And Joe... 19. 19 plus uh, 3 is 22, so you two go at the same time. Who has the higher dexterity score? Scott Locks is 16. Mine's 20. You go first. Okay. Um, I'm still up on my bike, right? Yes. Okay, I'm landing that shit. Oh, so I'm gonna by the way, the reason... I'm sorry, one second. The reason for the acrobat check was for that uncanny dodge you jump off the motorcycle as the lightning blast hit everyone actually oh yeah. shit. and you go tumbling through the ground and you're running on the landing no damage taken kind of do a little tuck and roll and get up and all juiced up <laughs> yes okay uh, we're all I, juiced up my turn, we don't know what to do i would like to hit this guy at 500 miles an hour with my bike? Not with the bike. <laughs> okay. Why not? Make Why not? Because uh, <laughs> those are expensive. Yeah, but he'll die. 500 miles an hour. <laughs> he'll be dead. <laughs> Maybe. At least you kill hope people he'll with die. Our bare hands or what? No, I can kill people with my bare hands. You do whatever you do with things. Okay. Let us make this new rule. That you know that when you fall, it's 1d6 damage for every 10 feet. Let us make it that it is 1d6 hit dice of damage for every 100 miles an hour. Holy so, crap. 5d6 at 100 miles an hour is what you would roll make an attack. 5d6? Make an attack yes. roll? Yes. That's dexterity, right? Uh, it would be for that. Okay, cool. Um. By now, I would have noticed you were dexterous. I'm not bitched about you driving. I'm sorry. <laughs> 23. 23. His armor class is... How much does the spell shield add? Is it plus 4? It adds plus 2. Plus 2. Ah, uh, you still hit. All Total right. 5d6. 5d6. <laughs> so I got 2, so I'll roll them 2 at a time. Total them up for me. Will do. Six. Uh huh. Ten. Okay. And one more. Three. Yep. Nineteen hit dice of damage. Times six is six. One hundred thirty-two points of damage. As 
You go. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Those hit dice of damage. <laughs> you knock him off of the ley line. <laughs> he goes flying. And catches himself midair, his armor taking most of the damage. Oh, this son of a bitch. How did he not die from that? He should be a paste. <laughs> he, he uses his reaction to tap into the ley line to levitate. Uh, part of being able to tap into a ley line. Oh. And it is after you... Uh, Who's next? Skylock. Skylock. Joe. Okay, my turn, huh? Yeah. Hmm. What should I do? Oh, oh, dead air. We got a drink. I know, right? <laughs> what are you doing? Do? Everybody drink. Five. <laughs> four. I don't know. Just shoot it. Uh... Spell or attack? You're, you are closing. Uh, my spell, uh, the blast. Okay, I'll just blast. Uh, make your one attack roll. My one attack roll, that's what she said to me in the bedroom. Oh, ten. Ten plus... Uh, spell attack is eight, is eighteen. That's enough to hit him. As the blast hits over him, roll a d10. For damage. And we got... Nine. Plus five is 14 points of damage. That's one hit off of his armor. As he seems to be kind of unfazed by it. As he's levitating there. And he looks down at you. And uh, Alara, you're next. And then Michael. Is he at least How far from me is this thing? Uh, you guys, you... Uh, you landed in the jungle. And uh, you're running through the trees. He's about uh, 100, and 100 feet away, kind of levitating maybe 100 feet up. So you triangulate that, that'd be about 250 feet away. Oh, we're doing triangulations and shit. I didn't I know, know right? Because <laughs> in, in 5e normally it's just like whichever one of the things is the longest. Yeah. Okay. Um, that way it would be maybe like 120 feet or whatever. whatever. Well, I don't exactly want to waste anything, so I'm just going to dash my way that way, 100 feet closer. You go jumping and... Uh, you know, I'm almost thinking we have to change up this class a little bit in the movement and add movement to it, because you are pretty damn quick. Um... Jumping from tree to tree. What's your movement right now? Is it 40, 50. 45? 50. Nice. Uh, so, damn. Maybe not. Hmm. Either way, uh, let us say for now that you go 50 feet. <laughs> Climbing in the trees, getting close to it. Okay. Um, and then, Michael. Well, didn't he dash for a double 50? That's true. I should have dashed for 100. A hundred feet, you close halfway through him, getting up to the treetops, kind of jumping from treetop to treetop. All monk and uh, Naruto style. With trademark, copyright, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> jumping across. <laughs> you don't have to jumping worry across... about it that much, man. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> jumping across the treetops. <laughs> and you see up in the, you see him getting closer. You or two-thirds of the distance, he is 150 feet away, but now a 50 feet away. Next okay. up is Michael. Uh, let's shoot, shoot some freaking uh, machine gun uh, uh, from my suit. Okay. You've used 
maybe a tenth, and you start out with a half. So we'll say you've got 400 rounds left, enough for 10 more bursts. Make your attack roll. Two attack rolls, actually, if you choose. Two attack rolls it is. 19. Nice. nice. And two. That's <laughs> definitely hit, and that's a miss. As you begin raising your gun and your wings kind of begin slowing and preparing for the recoil of this huge ass die damage. The, the rotors begin spinning. The first one is a hit. Roll. What was it? 3d6. Uh oh. Rules. You know what that means. 1d4. The D Sorry. 1d4, times, 1D4 times 10. Take seven drinks. Um, okay, hold on a 17, second. 17, you heard wrong. Take 17 drinks. <laughs> oh, shit. 17 drinks. <laughs> Who all here is buzzed? Dude, I'm I am. starting to feel it. I'm on my third beer now. Yeah, nice. bro. I'm buzzed. Right, 10D4, right? Strong. I'm buzzed in the way of the alcohol. <laughs> so what, you, what did you roll, Aaron? Uh, 1D4? All right, so you said 10D4, right? No, 1D4 no. times 10. Times 10. 1D4 is... Oh, 4. Shit. Nice. Fuck yes. 40. You got 40 That's hit dice of damage? Nice. Yeah. And that was just wow. the first shot. Uh, no. He missed with the second. What about... Yeah. Oh, you know okay, you yeah. make me wanna... So you're sitting there... Your wings... Take another shot! <laughs> As it begins piercing his armor, and you begin seeing holes ripped in his armor, and... And he's kind of stumbling backwards. And now it's his turn again. What does he do? He uses his ley line powers and spends a bonus action to tap ley line. Tap the ley line. And you see the energy begin funneling from the ley line into him. Wait, did you go yet? Yes, you were the first, you were the second one to go. He begins channeling the energy and casts. But the uh, sorry, give me one second. He casts everybody make a dexterity saving throw. All right, for fuck's sake. Oh, fuck me. 18. 18, you succeed. 28. 13. No, 26, rather. I'm sorry. Damn. You succeed. 13? Is that what you said, Cody? Yep. You fail. And Joe? And Joe... Guys, this is bullshit. I have a plus 9 in dexterity. I just can't roll high enough. 18! <laughs> I know. 18. <laughs> okay. So... He begins channeling out a pillar of flames out of his, out of his finger as he points it at you, channeling it. You see, with every pulse of energy that comes from the line, the flame grows. <laughs> and those who failed, everybody except for uh, Skylock, he takes six. So I, I have an ability what's seven, called eight. Action action Surge. I succeeded, I thought. On your turn, and you can take a second action with that. So can I use an action to push somebody out the way? On your turn, or if you hold an action. Ooh, okay, so okay. I'm going to uncanny dodge. I that. succeeded, didn't he? I rolled a 26. Yes, you did. Okay. Yes, you were the other one. Okay, so uh, 12 and 7 is 19. Is 26 points of damage for everybody except for Skylock and Alara, you take 13. I take zero. 
evasion so that when I hit by any his AOE attack, oh. I take no damage. Okay, it's if not I uncanny. Yes, okay. You I'm are doing correct. uncanny dodge, though, so I take half. Okay. Which is? 13. 13, thank you. Sorry. 4, oh, Guys, 26, and 28. Michael, you have taken 51 points of damage. You're down to 20. I'm Ooh. down to fucking 9 life. So I have 60 life, right? 71. Oh, okay. I went up. That's you're right. Yeah, you you've got twenty hit points left. That's not good though. Yeah, I'm down to seventeen. That's not good. Are you kidding me? I can gain me? some life the next turn. <laughs> uh, next up is back up to uh, Ardma. Yeah. Keep wanting to say Nix. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we all miss Nix. Right. <laughs> all right. Um. Okay, so for my turn, I'm going to move my bike up to him. You, after after ramming him, you circle around? Yeah, I circle around, and I get about 30 feet away from him. Okay. Okay, uh, because I know I, can't, I don't have mounted combat, so I'm going to hop off. And I'm gonna. Uh, you are about. Are mm -hmm. you still flying of the tree line since you're. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm like landing. Oh, you go and land it. Uh, that will take. That'll take what? That'll take an action. A full action to land it and jump off? Oh, shit. Yes, because you need to go down and slow down landing. <sighs> well, I can't do that then. Just. What if I cast Witch Bolt? Okay. Yeah, you, you begin hovering in the air, casting Witch Bolt, make your attack roll. Okay. I pull out my trusty taser, aim, and fire it. 19. That's a hit. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I was sick Finally. of that hitting. All right, 2d12 damage, and it's a sustained 2d12 Eight. Okay. Eight points of damage. That's one hit die. As his armor begins starting to kind of glow with heat. And you can tell it's structurally taken one hit die of damage. All right. Um, it is... I, I, your turn. Whose turn? Skylock. Got it. Don't you have a tapped leyline ability as well? Yes, I do. Uh, you are within 100 feet of it. Do you want to drive the... Or... No, you're on the back of Michael's suit. Who's about 100 yeah. feet away. So, yes, you get bonuses. To your ship. What are you going to do? Believe it or not. I am going to do that new one I have, uh, the Dream. Eyes of the Rune, Rune Keeper. That lets you see through somebody that you can touch. That lets you see through their eyes and hear through them. Okay, never mind. That's a bad idea. Uh. <laughs> and you're on the back of Michael, so you'll be seeing the way he's... <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a bad idea. <laughs> okay, um, um no, and, you, and then you instead just gained of... more hit dice for the creatures you can summon, too. Yeah, I want to summon... Roll a d20. Uh, one, one CR4, two CR2s, or four CR1 halves. The first one. Okay, uh, one level four creature. Uh, go ahead and roll a 20-sided... Let's see what appears through that rift. 20! Oh, no what? shit. Drinks, drinks, babies. If you roll a crit 20, it lets you summon to the next CR level, which would be a CR level 6. A level 6 monster comes through the portal. As you begin opening it up, oh, by the way, you're supposed to roll with advantage, but it doesn't matter because you can't roll better than a crit. <laughs> um, yeah, you summon through this gate. 
uh, it makes a charisma check to try and avoid your control to see if he's under your control he rolls a 16 your charisma is a 20 so he fails he is under your control <laughs> Sweet. so yes you see coming through this you see coming through this a, an unusually human like this metal suit of armor that stands 35 feet tall holding a huge ass uh, blaster on his one arm comes through the portal <sighs> hovering and floating with his jetpacks unusually humanoid most suits of armor that you see are really mechanical bulky or blocky looking even michael's streamlined uh, fast ass suit looks like a toy compared to this thing as it's shining like mercury what do you command him to do to attack that guy kill him <laughs> you say in your mind kill into him. his mind and he raises the oh, wait, 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 no. Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go ahead and make an attack roll for him. It is with plus eight. Attack roll with plus eight. Okay, here we go. Fifteen. In case you... Fifteen plus eight is 23, or is that including the plus eight? No, it was 15 and plus 8, so yeah, 23. 23? That is definitely a hit. What you have summoned through this gateway is known as a glitter boy. These are, okay, history, you guys all know that. <laughs> Sorry. A glitter boy? I didn't realize you had yeah. Edward Cullen is up what, in this is bitch. what they're known as. These, I'm these, so okay. There was an army of thousands of tanks and mobile suits, and twelve glitter boys were sent to this armor arm uh, to this this war. These twelve hundred tanks were all completely destroyed and obliterated, and only one glitter boy was lost out of the twelve that were sent. This is fucking the badass bestest shit that the coalition has, and he is under your control as he lowers his. Uh, blaster rifle. If you see it begin charging up and glowing, what did you roll? I Something rolled... really high. Okay, you yeah, that was a hit. Twenty three. Yeah, twenty three. Twenty three. Roll three d six. Three d sixes. Huh? This is gonna be fun. No joke. And multi Yeah. Well, semi fun. Six, six, and a one. That's pretty 12, good. 13. 13 times 10 is 130 of damage. As this blast shoots as the Gundam, uh, the Gundam wing uh, animates do. You mm -hmm. see the, blank, the blink of white light where his body was. And then it expands. <laughs> leaving a blast blowing the trees and everything back and everybody you were in mid jump uh, a tree and whoosh, you get blown back to the next tree and kind of hold on to it as a blast and there is nothing but ashes and smoke there yeah. <laughs> he's dead <laughs> I think he's dead <laughs> yeah 130 hit dice of damage armor only had 20 hit dice left plus his like 36 hit points he, he's he's toast oh god thank <laughs> goodness that that i happened. didn't get to touch it <laughs> all right send your pet thing back before it kills us all <laughs> uh it is it has failed its saving throw so it is under your in your control until a short rest or a long rest oh okay I'll keep with this for a while. Travel for a little while, yeah. These glitter boys, can they fly? Uh, yes. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, they are fast. They are fast as fuck. I swing around and pick up a Lara. Hey, hop on. 
There's a little bit of blood on it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Since when was I ever worried about a little bit of blood? Shit. As all oh, you guys, funny. bloodied and beaten, make your way to the edge of the beach, where you see what seems to be like a little boatside stand with three little rickety buildings, people standing outside, kind of looking over at the, uh, looking over at the docks. Okay, guys, we got uh, ten minutes left. Do you want to you... continue or call it here? We could call it here. Because the next little bit, uh, the playing and stuff, I guess 20 minutes, 15 minutes. We got that, don't we, guys? I'm leaving it up to the group. I don't care. Okay, do so we're, we're continuing on for another 15, 20 minutes. You guys. The group of people kind of uh, sitting there with their arms crossed, looking out across. You see that they're uh, dressed in almost 1800 steampunkish gear with a tailcoat and the monocle. And people kind of in the poofy dresses, the women. But this seems to be a place centered around ship trip. There's one boat left in the dock. You see that it's an unusual sailboat that is sitting unusually high on the tide, kind of on the beach, perched up on stilts out of the water. People talking back and forth. Not much else. What okay. do y'all do? Let's, uh, Where's those Luther guys are supposed to be at? We don't know yet. Yeah, Luther he's supposedly shit. That's his he name. supposedly he supposedly left from somewhere. Do we have a picture of him? You do have a picture of him. Yes. Let's go ask people. The we're the you Let's create a little holog You create little holographic images. Uh, uh, sorry, excuse me. Have you seen this guy? I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to bug you. Have you seen him? Describe to me the person that you are talking to. Older gentleman, older lady, younger woman, younger man. So, as soon as I turn around, there's an older lady, about 65, gray hair. Sitting, sitting there on a bench, fanning herself. And you see her with her gentleman on her arm. And they're looking back and forth, kind of hearts in their eyes, giggling. <laughs> well, you know, my lady, that's what she said. <laughs> oh, you guys are so beautiful. Okay, boomer. <laughs> he turns and looks at you. Oh, oh, oh <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, can I help you? I don't mean sir? to bug you. Have you seen this person? No, no, absolutely not. I don't... And, uh... Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead and make an investigation check. Ten. Plus stuff. Sissy, no, no, can't say that I have. But lots of, lots of people come and go around here about that type. Uh, he looks pretty common, almost uh, almost a little too common. He says. As he kind of scratches his little goatee, says, "If you hey, really want to know my, anybody, uh... Sorry. your glitter boy is flying around right behind, kind of following you around like a lost puppy dog." Well, can I and have him looks... intimidate this guy? Uh, yes, absolutely. Roll intimidation. <laughs> Roll two twenty-sided dice. Take the highest. Two-sided what? Two twenty. Two twenty-sided. Make take the mm -hmm. highest. A crit. Are you uh, serious, <laughs> guys? I just. Oh, I have to open another. I'm already seventeen. I'm already starting to feel. Pretty I guess good. I do. Too, Cody. I guess I will too. Yep. I just gotta open another beer right quick. 
Oh. <laughs> I'm going to pour myself in more. the last five minutes. I'm going to have to drink this <laughs> <a> beer <laughs> in five minutes. <laughs> uh, hey, I didn't come up with the rules. <laughs> As you're just standing there kind of with your foot tapping, with your arms crossed, standing back, you give a glance to the glitter boy, and the glitter boy steps up. <laughs> Points his big old blaster at him and says, Tell me what you know. <laughs> <laughs> he screams. And yet again, the familiar faint scent of urine permeates your nostrils. God, that's all we do is make people pee themselves. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> He's freaking out. Talk to the harbor master. He would know. He's a short, dwarven little fuck that <laughs> like glasses, mohawk, and <laughs> Okay, okay, you can live. Chill out. Go clean yourself up. It's embarrassing. Okay, boy. back off. It's okay, man. I think we got what we needed. <laughs> I'm sorry, milady. Excuse me. As he goes ticking off, running at full sprint to the nearest bathroom, like holding the back of his pants because he shit himself. He, the front, one hand on the front, <laughs> one hand on the. Back. <laughs> He's just running, kind of waddling, more waddling than running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just did not see that one coming. That's how we roll. We get shit done. <laughs> We ain't right? got time for these fucking charisma games. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Guys, I don't think we can top that. <laughs> so the harbor master awaits. All right, uh, I guess I'll go up to him. My charisma is only a plus two. Who's going first? Scott, Mine's only a Skylock, plus two, too. I think Skylock has the highest charisma out of all of you. The dragon scary fucker with the yeah. glitter boy following him around. <laughs> <laughs> charisma 20. Oh, yeah, wait. what the hell? I'll go talk to him. <laughs> I'll go talk him up. <laughs> And <laughs> you see this short, dwarven little guy surrounded by a couple of other that he's uh, scribbling in, the, that he's uh, kind of finger touching into like a little on his. Tick, 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 tick. Very good. Go ahead and make sure that this ships out by 2:30 p.m. And he turns to the next guy. Hey, this is not acceptable. Get it going right now. And he turns back to you. What? What do you want? Oh, and he stops and looks at you, and he looks you up and down. As you can almost visually see the dollar signs, kind of cartoon-like, appear in his eyes. Mm. And he looks over to you and says, Hey, you looking for some business? What can I help you with? Have, have you seen this guy? It says... Actually, to tell you the truth, you're not the first person to ask about him. That's not an answer. Am I over there no. right with uh, Joe? Yes, you all are surrounding this dwarven guy as he's <laughs> paying more attention to his job than to you guys. Put down 500 credits. Tell me everything that you can tell. But, uh, tell me about him. He turns around. Puts down, closes his book, puts it on the table next to him, and kind of leans forward, crossing his elbows on the table, and leans in close, and he says, Well, what I know is that this guy has used this scam before. He usually, he usually sets up fake tickets under the Black Rose pseudonym. The Black Orchid pseudonym. Go Four on. tickets here. He usually sets up tickets for the for his name here. But 
he actually ends up taking he was last seen on his way to South America we're gonna have to chase this guy all the way fucking around the world hmm. we could still go to Texas I, yeah we could it's on the freaking way <laughs> oh my you God. know he says as he kind of stands up and puts one hand on his hip standing up you know I can provide services to get you there in 24 hours for a mere 750 credits each nah we can fly we're good well how long will it take us are you I'll sure we can uh... Two weeks. Two weeks? It's to South America. This isn't across the U.S. This is halfway Pixie across boy. the country. All right, all right. I guess if you can take us there in 24 hours, that would be great. 750, huh? 750. Each. Each. Ah, yeah. How about you take us there at no price? And my wonderful tall friend doesn't try to kill you. I didn't think that was going to work. Go ahead and make an intimidation check at advantage again. <laughs> Two 20 sided dice. <laughs> oh, this is. Oh, come on, you can do it. 17 <laughs> and 16. 17, 17 plus intimidation for you is plus 8. Holy shit. By the way, everybody's level 9, so that's why that's with a charisma of 20. Right. And proficiency in it, which just went up to a plus 4 from 3. So yeah, plus 8. Or is it plus 9 now? Because five plus proficiency is nine. Yeah, it's a plus. Yeah, nine. nine. It don't fucking Very good. matter. Because this guy looks up at you and says, "Excuse me, one moment." And he takes off, walking back towards one of the rickety buildings that's right there, kind of docks. Uh, you see a couple of windows to the right of the doorway. And it circles around to the back to what we haven't seen. And he goes walking that way. He said excuse him for a moment, so do we just like stay there? Or are, we gonna follow him? are you going to let him go? No. I'm going to get my wonderful Wonder Boy guy to stop him before he gets to the building. How? By just standing in front of him or by doing more? Just by standing in front of him. And if he moves, I'm going to have the him jet, shoot him. The jet blasters fire. <laughs> as he makes a jumping leap. <laughs> landing and blocking off his pathway. He looks over at you. Pushes a button on his wrist. And he just stands there with his arms crossed. Kind of tapping his foot. Oh, I swear. Skylock, this is all you. Now the robot just blown to hell. Really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> How are you going to get to the <laughs> are you you? going to get for cheapies, and I always track with my money. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep my money. You have your robot shoot him then, right? Yep. Make an attack roll. Oh no. Wow. We're gonna have to get out of here fast. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Nineteen plus stuff? Okay. No need to roll damage because he's not wearing any armor. Your glitter boy. Just kind of points his gun down at him and fires. All you see left is a crater in the ground. 
with smoke piling up as you do 3d6 times 10 hit dice of damage. Hey, this, is when I, this is when I interject something. Remember in the prologue when I was working on being able to use my phone to summon the robot suit? Which robot suit do you speak of? I think it's Skylocks or is it Michael's? Michael's. Michael's. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Michael's writing in it. Oh, he's already in it? Yeah. Oh, we're good then. We're golden. We just or need to get out of here. We're golden. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know left there about is that. a smoking pillar out of this little crater that you left. Okay, guys, book it to the bikes. We're out of here. <laughs> I already start running. I'm so far. You guys are. Ex <laughs> you take off from just running, sprinting. <laughs> 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 um, everybody, roll initiative. Ooh. Fuck, man. I think you did it now. Why couldn't you just let him sell us transport? 20. <laughs> because I wanted to kill somebody else. <laughs> 17. 9. Or, no, 11. Sorry. 15. 16. Well, was that 15, Michael? 17. 17. No, I'm, uh... 25. Plus eight. 9 is 28. So, yeah, Michael, you go first. As you're riding in the suit, Michael, you go first. You see this pillar coming out of the out of the ground where the dwarf used to be standing. Oh fuck that! I'm gonna take like uh, two missile shots, and then I have an extra attack, so I'll take three attacks on him. At what? There's what nothing there. Coming through the fucking ground. Nothing. Nothing. That's the hole in the ground. Oh, I thought you said something was coming out of the ground. No, no, that just a pillar of smoke coming out of the ground. Right, in that case, oh. I'm like hitting thrusters and getting the hell out. North, south, east, or west. The beach is to the east. Where you came from is kind of southwest. Uh, you guys are in Florida. Let's get to the beach, I guess. And we're like, rethink what we need to do. You don't stay. Okay. You take off towards the beach. Alara, you take your movement. <laughs> Let's go. I grab you. All right. Uh, yeah. So you guys take off to the southeast. That's your guys' action as you begin seeing what look like kind of blocky rectangles standing on top of two legs that stand maybe 40 feet tall kind of rise up out of the behind the buildings these almost like garage door uh panels open up on either side of the legs on the main body and you see inside a bunch of missiles Oh my the alarms God. the alarms on your sky cycle start going off. The alarms in the mobile going off. Beep 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 incoming attack incoming attack what the hell <laughs> As your turn is to ride off their turn is that's a twelve sided, not a twenty sided. Take a drink, because you're not drunk enough already. Oh my god, everybody has to drink. <laughs> no, oh my I'm god, I, I just opened it, so. <sighs> Guys, I was talking to myself to I'm take dying. a drink. I feel good. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, oh, come on, I'm fine. rolling shitty... Okay, so one missile hits Michael suit, one missile hits the motorcycle. Shit. 
Can yeah, I the motorcycle do dodge on the motorcycle? The sky cycle takes 40 hit dice of damage. Taking it down. Uh, it has like 80 hit dice. We will say 80 hit dice for now. Is this suit oh my by, God. by a person? Take it down halfway. Um, possibly. they. A lot of times these suits that stand maybe tall and 40 feet wide, almost looking like a block structure on top of a couple of legs, you see that uh, there is a little window in between the, all these missiles, five <clears throat> missiles firing at the one thing. Five missiles firing at you at the other. Okay, before we go further, how much damage did I take? 40 hit dice on your sky cycle, taking it down from 40 to... from 80 to 40. So I personally... Uh, and the armor. One of the missiles hits you. Main body is 250 hit dice. You take 30, taking you down to 220. Yes. These missiles kind of knock you out of out of the air, kind of off your uh, path. Next up, it is uh, first Michael. All right, I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna do a trick shot versus one of the legs to make him crawl, uh, fall into the other one. Okay, uh, let me look at your character sheet. Gunslinger, trick shot. Gunslinger can use his abilities through mech suits and whatnot. Dazing. Trick shot. You spend one grit point to gain and an intimidation roll. No, that's bullying. Dazing. Dead eye. Extra attack. Uh, which uh, trick shot? Uh, which trick shot do you use? Bully, which intimidates them. Dead eye. I'm thinking. I'm thinking dazing shot. Okay. Uh, make your attack roll. Oh, that's a fucking twenty. Ah oh, shit! I need to finish my drink for that one. <laughs> I'm taking a shot for that. Roll a one d four. Roll, roll, roll your three. boat gently down the three. 30 hit dice. Doubled for being a crit is 60 hit dice of damage. That was only one shot. Yep. You have a second attack as well as... What is it? I also have a third if I choose to. I have also extra attack. Yes, you do. You can make a second attack this round. <laughs> 12, 19. Plus, plus stuff? Yeah, that's a hit. No, actually 12, you've got a plus 9 to your shit, so it'd be 21. Does that hit, though? No, missed it, barely. No, you hit. Uh, roll another 1d4 and multiply it oh, times nice. 10. 4. 40 more hit dice, so 40 is... That's 100 hit dice of damage as you're unloading on this. Smoke begins spewing out of one of the missile canisters that are holding there. Next up is the Monk Alara. Uh, does it, does it get dazed? Oh, it may, needs to make a saving throw. It rolls a natural two, so it fails. Yeah, it is dazed this round. Fuck yes. yeah. It worked. Uh, make constant saving throw or suffer disadvantage on attacks till the end of their next turn. Oh, wow. Damn. Okay, so yeah. It begins kind of falling backwards a little bit. Uh, Alara, you're up. So I'm piloting the bike. How far away from it I'm at? Uh, you're riding on the bike with uh artema yep that's right uh you are uh, you're a decent amount of uh, range away kind of circling around uh 
But How you can long hold your will action. It take me you can hold your action until get Artema gets closer. If you'd like. I'm flying. I got the bike before Artema this time. Yep. Jose? Yeah. Oh, okay, I was just making sure you were still there. Yeah. So I'm piloting uh, this thing. Okay. Will it take an you, action uh, to get there, or? Uh, it will, are you, you're riding on the bike. You can hold your action. No, no, no. Are no. you driving? Who's yeah, driving? Yeah, he's driving, and I'm riding on the back. Oh, you're driving. she got there, and I misgendered you. Okay. She got there before me. Drink, and yes. Okay, uh, Ugh. you're driving there. You, you use your movement to circle around and come close, uh, or what are you using your movement? to with a bike at 500 miles an hour which i think is like a 300 foot movement how high am i uh you are maybe uh how high do you want to be you're driving <laughs> i are like to fly me? about 40 feet high smoke some more smoke some more yeah right <laughs> Speaking let's of again oh some mash too i like to fly <laughs> at 40 to 45 Okay, sure. What are you doing? You tell me, because that bike, that bike is fast enough to do shit. So you well, tell me I what am you're zooming, doing. I am zooming at that mech with the bike, and you telling Art, the yep, telling Artema to take over as I get ready to jump off. Got it. As the bike is right over them, what do you do? I you jump off. Okay, you jump off and. What do you do? You tell me. I am literally using my ball to do a kick on the top of the, the damn thing. Uh, a kick? Yep. Make, make an attack roll. Are you kidding me? Okay, uh, 15? 15 is just barely a miss. As you go down and Ouch. clink, kind of make a tiny itty bitty dent on the armor. What do you want to do? You, I think you still I have a second attack. I did two attacks, right? Yeah. Now that I'm down here, I'm going to pull out my vibrably glove on my other hand. Make your attack roll. You land on the ground, kind of trying to stomp on it. It doesn't quite work, but you bring your vibrably blade Vibro blade glove down onto it and sixteen. You hit exactly. That is his armor class. As you bring right. your vibro blade down, in, and you begin dragging it across and roll your damage. I think it's one d four. One d six. One d six plus four. That gives us five. Five hit dice of damage. As you drag the blade across it, kind of ripping a little bit at the metal. It wasn't much. All right. It was something. Well, that and... pisses me off. You know what? I'm going to do a flurry of blows. Oh, spend a key point. Flurry of blows. Make your attack roll. Key point spent. <laughs> Two more attacks. All right. Two more attack rolls. That's right. Pop, pop. 19. That's a hit. And 26. Uh, 25. That's a hit. That All right. Hits. So let's roll some more D6. And I'm not getting extra vibroblade damage, I don't think. Three plus four is seven. Five plus four is nine. Sixteen. Sixteen more. Okay. As you begin just kind of pissed off, drunken kind of uh, stabbing into it. That uh, gives me as well uh, plus 10 to my speed and disengage for free. So I'm going to jump the fuck off of it. Back away 10 feet is about much like... You know, uh, wasn't I knocking one down onto another one? No, you were knocking him down. He was not falling onto the other one. He was just falling back. They're okay. both side by side. Uh, yeah. You. Which one were you landing on? The one. 
Sorry, you cut out, Jose. This, the one what? Which one were you falling on that was falling over or the other one? The other one. Okay, you just sit in there, Wolverine, on it, and you jump off of it. It Can tries I... to reach up for you, but doesn't even get a chance to grab at you as you disengage. And you go landing in the tree right by it. Oh, I was wondering if I could swoop by and pick her up. <laughs> While she jumps I'm into the I'm totally air. fine being in the ground. I want to be down. It is your turn now. Uh, what's your name, uh, Artema? Okay. Or, yeah. Artemis and then Michael. turn. All right. Um, I thought we all agreed we were or, running. Why is no. everyone still fighting? Are you kidding? What do we do? <laughs> Run away. Running from this? This thing is fast. It has missiles. Are we faster than it? Heat-seeking missiles have advantage. Hmm. Okay, Just, I guess uh... we're fighting to the death here. <laughs> I'm mad again. Um. Okay, I am going to fly my bike uh, right in front of the sensor array, so like anything that they use to like look, uh -huh. like look at me with their eyes. And I okay. hold up, I press a few buttons on my phone, and I hold it up, and it flashes this prismatic spray of colors. And you cast prismatic spray. I cast color spray. Color spray. Yep. Uh, what is that? A wisdom save. It is. I have to roll six d10. And, and that uh, and it, determines the amount of hit points that it can affect. Oh. Okay. But the reason that I did it in front of the sensor array was so that anybody piloting Just try and it, affect the pilot. Exactly. Right. Okay. Okay. So I roll 6 d10. You're going to have to total them for me. Okay. 8. Uh-huh. 17. Okay. Nine. Okay, that was six. Oh. Six, not nine? No, that was nine. So what's the total? Nine. Thirty-four. If it's higher than his hit points... <laughs> it was exactly his hit points. Perfect. He's blinded <laughs> until the end of our next turn. <laughs> Okay, so the disadvantage or the advantage to disadvantage making it a straight roll as you blind you send this color spray into the sensors. You see little sparks of arcs of energy course from the legs up through the body. As you're circling around. And anything else? Uh no, I believe that's my turn. Michael, your turn. Michael's muted. Michael. Time to drink, buddy. No, no. <laughs> I was Aaron. just closing the door and I didn't want to wake up anybody. Okay. Good deal. So, but I'm still going to drink because I'm drunk as fuck and I don't give up. Hell yeah, <laughs> baby. Get turned up. I'm out of Red Bull. We gotta finish. Turn down for what? Exactly. We gotta finish <laughs> uh, the stream up. It's already 12:30. So. Does that mean I gotta take right. another drink? Let's pull off freaking three missiles. Then. Let's end this shit. Let's freaking fire three missiles. Two of my regular missiles, and then one extra attack. Whoa. Uh, that will completely. Completely what? Unload. Use all of your missiles, make three attack rolls. You will have no more missiles. That's what she said. Hmm. Maybe it is. Technically, anything me or Alara say is what she said. <laughs> well, you know. Uh-oh, we lost one. Disconnected. Uh-oh. Oh, well, technically, it'd be all... Uh, you're shooting blank. Hear me now. Welcome back. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. I'm oh, like, man, what the I'm fuck happened? <clears throat> okay. What so did he say? That would be what? That would be all of your missiles. That would be all of your missiles and roll three attack. 
Um, I also made explosive missiles, remember? Yep. Roll your three attacks. <laughs> Give the hiccups. 17. That's 14. A hit. 10. That's a hit. That is also a hit. Nice. What? With a plus eight. Whoa. Plus nine, sorry. As all three of your missiles go flying out of your wrist, <laughs> you raise your other wrist. <laughs> Fire the last. Roll. 3d6. Is someone playing with ice cubes? Yeah, we, hmm? we, I know. we you're polluting the audio, Ronnie. Uh, five, six, and a five. Ten, sixteen. Damn. <laughs> so, Our DM is totally 16. trash. <laughs> right. 160 hit dice of da damage. <laughs> as you do to the one that's kind of falling over. <laughs> falling backwards. It's falling backwards. And you fire three missiles as they kind of fly towards it. And then swoop up and then down right into its chest, completely exploding. You see the missiles in its missile compartment begin exploding throughout the side of it, completely so obliterating what you do an extra surge. Oh, no, I was just saying it was a chain reaction. Yeah, chain reaction right up along the whole side of it. And it completely obliterates the whole right side of it, destroying it as bits of metal come flying at you and bouncing off the suits of armor and the motorcycles. Pling, 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 pling. Awesome. All right. Anything else? There's one more. There is one more of these big old missile shooters, and you suspect everybody with their general passive intelligence kind of suspects that more shit is on their way. Yeah, that's why uh -huh. I was like, why is everybody fighting? We need to fucking cheese it. <laughs> so, hey, I wanted the experience. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> we got a death. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even get experience in this game. I do take that into account when I say level. Oh, okay. For the milestone. Dude, that was a big-ass fucking robot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Big ol' anime Dragon Ball Z kind of nuclear-like explosion, but as it's falling to the ground with disintegrated, the big ol' white light with little shards of metal just disintegrating into it. Yes, a historian, uh, historian's freaking like any kind of radar. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> You destroyed one of them. There's another one there. Fuck it. Well, we can outfly these missiles. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, if I can go, go 500 miles an hour, I don't know how fast that missile can go, but it can't be faster than that. Yeah, I can. Oh. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah I can. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. not driving as much mass as... Mach 2, Mach 3. Oh, shit. That's the average of what missiles in the 20th. We have to finish this thing off. We have to, like, hey. kill it before other ones show up, which is probably going to be in the next round. With you. It is that been thing still 18... disoriented? It has been 18... It is destroyed. It has been 18 seconds you guys battle. None <laughs> of them is destroyed. It... Yeah, three rounds. You guys destroyed one of them. 18 seconds. Okay. Um, yes. Six seconds around. Um, okay, six. whose turn is it? Uh, after Michael, it is the last remaining ones. It's disoriented. It's messed up. It doesn't attack. No. No, you destroyed the one that was... I thought they were both disoriented. No, just the one. Um, uh, the other one, 
Fires with advantage. Fires with advantage. God damn it. Fires <laughs> with advantage. What the? Okay. One hits. Fires with advantage. Two hit. Fires with advantage. Oh, shit. That last one was a crit. Ah, oh, we gotta drink and die. This is where I die. So, <laughs> DM, hey, could I have mean... a dramatic thing that I might run by you. What's that? Can I fly the bike in front of my friends and sacrifice myself to save them? <laughs> you... Uh... Joe, roll initiative. Cody, roll initiative. Got it. Twenty-three. Drunk as fuck. <laughs> okay. Dude, I think we're all feeling it right now. It's pretty late. Yeah. What did I say? Twenty-three. Yes, you did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Crit. 20. Yep. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna, I'm Plus gonna throw three up, is... guys. You guys yeah. are tied at 23. You guys both tied at 23. Whose dexterity is... What's your dexterity, Cody? 20. Or Alara. Uh, damn it, Artema. Artema, drink. you got a drink for sure on that one. You screwed it up twice. Okay, yes. Artema, you go first. Ages, you managed to pull the bike in front of everybody. Taking two hits from missiles. Ooh. How many hit dice does the bike have left? Uh, 40. Okay. No. Uh, let's see. Where's the six out of die? 1d6 times 10. The... First one is 60 hit dice. Uh, 40. Uh, do you ha don't you have the plastic armor? Yeah, I do. Your plastic armor takes 20 hit dice of damage plus another 30. Is so a total of 50 hit dice of damage. Okay, so that means the bike's done. The bike yeah, completely explodes. With you go flying of off it. of it. <laughs> kind of doing the uh, slow motion. Waving your arms and legs through the air. Whoa! I look at them and I'm like, fly, you fools. <laughs> <laughs> Make a acrobatics check. Or dex. Or, uh. I can do acrobatics. Twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a success. And manage to clamp onto one of the branches of the trees. Swing yourself around and crap and grab onto the trunk about twenty-five feet up into the tree. How much damage grab onto the do trunk, I take swing from the explosion? Uh, I think it was what was it? Twenty and thirty, fifty hit dice of damage on your armor. Okay, my armor's shattered, but also, does it hurt me? Or is that okay? Uh, how much hit dice does your armor have? Uh, you said it was 20? Oh. So 30 Oh, yeah. Dice. So I take 30 hit dice I think you're dead, damage. Cody. That's, That's a, a lot. 180. That's 180 hit points. Perfect. So let me, let me roleplay this out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I see... The missile's charging up, and I'm like, oh, God, my friends, they're not going to make it. They're not running like I said we should. Shit. And I, the last thing I'm thinking is these motherfuckers as I turn and fly the bike, and I catch one of the missiles, and boom, the bike explodes, flies into another missile, and explodes, and my body just erupts into this almost beautiful red mist. As the red mist collapses and falls and sprays. All over the jungle. Fucking Artemis! That was instant death. 
uh, kind of, yeah, there was no help around that. <laughs> I made it one episode, guys. Cody's character just died. <laughs> <laughs> just instant death. <laughs> A blood spray across the jungle. Oh, well, that sucks, but oh well, I'll make a new character. Why couldn't we just <laughs> pay for <laughs> transport again? I, I really liked your character, damn it. I did too. I guess you just share her next. <laughs> Oh, oh I'm man! So fucked. <laughs> Dude, that was insane. I had to save you guys. Like, what else could I do? They might have survived. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, I, so they yeah, might have survived. Um, after Artema, it is now uh, Alara. Oh fuck! We can't get out of here now. We have to finish this thing before we try to run. You're on top of the one that is still standing. As it's firing missiles, oh. and you saw it just destroy uh, Artema. Well, that drives me crazy. I can't believe this sh <laughs> My phone just flickers on the ground with a cracked screen. <laughs> I'm going to do a stunning strike on this. Uh, okay. That, it doesn't matter. I'm dead. Doesn't work. You're kind of, you're kind of uh, imagining where the of this suit is, and you kind of aim right for where the central nervous system is. It makes a con save or wisdom save. It is a con save. Uh, that is a Pretty natural sure. six for ten. It fails. As you right, you get pissed off. Um, actually, make your attack roll to see if you hit first. If you hit, it fails. Twenty three. It hit. It fails. Roll your damage. All right. Well, this is with some vibro big gloves. First attack. Of course. Nine. Uh huh. Here's the second attack. Crit. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> Pissed off as hell. Uh, you stun it with a first I can still attack. Drink. Yes, you can. As you see, it kind of seize up. And I roll a six for ten points for ten hit dice of damage times two is twenty. Twenty hit dice of damage. And you bring your vibro gay blade gun. Vibro blade glove <laughs> Take a drink. on it, and you rip it open. And you see inside the pilot just sitting there looking up at you. Fuck! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! I'm going to move! It is uh, Michael's turn. So Michael, when he you're... opens up the freaking hatch, I'm going to fire uh -huh. a freaking shot at the pilot. You go flying over the top of the mech suit and aim down. Make a, an, an attack roll. Plus four to his armor class for half cover. Twelve. Plus stuff is twenty. Yeah. You go flying <laughs> over. Firing your uh, road. <laughs> you see a blood spray. That you just saw a second ago from Artemis body spray landing across the jungle. You see his body blood spray up into the air, maybe 10 feet, as bullets just pierce and riddle his body. As the suit remains standing and intact, but the pilot is dead. Somebody better steal that suit. I was going to say, what kind of suit is that? <laughs> Do you want wow. to leave your suit behind? <laughs> I don't know. It has autopilot. I can freaking, like, grab the phone from the ground and freaking make it follow me back. The phone. That's what she said. Right? Dude, I, I know technicians. I'm pretty good at the freaking <laughs> computer shit. You see a bunch of black dots appear in the sky. We need to 
go. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go. You hear across the comms. In your suit, as you take In off, which way? Towards the beach, towards the direction that ships usually take off on? I blame this on you, Skylock. <laughs> Starting a fight. <laughs> so, yeah. Which way do you take off? We Everybody. still need to find that Luther guy. Uh, yeah. But we know um, roughly so where to go. You guys, you guys just killed any point of contact information that you have with him. Yeah, um, yeah that's... <laughs> what are you guys doing? You get, combat has ended for, the, for uh, we'll say, ten round, five minutes. As five ship. minutes. As you see Five the uh, black minutes. dots getting closer. I say we get out of here. Pick me up. We need to go. Which way? Which way? Let's go back to the beach. Uh, you were at the beach. All East I to towards. Do is look at memes and get my tan on. <laughs> so much for Florida, right? Uh, yeah. You said about traveling versus like the shipping direction or something. Um. Okay. You can head out east, out the ocean, and go and uh, follow where the shipping routes might be towards the Bermuda Triangle, <laughs> which is highly magical. Or we could all go back home and hire a new person to fill Artemis' slot and maybe try and do a quest without getting me killed. I like, <laughs> you know, the Bermuda right? Triangle. All right, let's go back home. You decide to head back towards your base, flying at full speed out of the Florida area, making it back to uh, Pennsylvania area, the northern Pennsylvania area. And that's where we will call it for this evening. Right off you guys the right. set, down one friend. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> what is terrible <laughs> thing? Oh, down... Uh, a party member. Did I live or did I die? You survived. Most of you survive? were pretty. You, most of you were pretty fucked up from the uh, ley line walker. I'm the only one who came out of that okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of oh, course, man. the drunk monk is the one that comes out okay. Jose, get with me about <laughs> yeah. making a new character. <laughs> Okay, we'll do throughout this next week. You let me know what you want. Um, since Artema died, are you guys looking for another hacker? Or what kind of job posting are you making for a new uh, replacement? Man, how yeah, do you can... replace a hacker? Right. I say we just uh, put out flyer saying we need somebody and we'll choose from the best. Hell no. Okay. I think okay. I think that I put out my doing... professional feelers looking for people who are at least level 8. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you'll find a level 9. Decide right. on. So yeah. All create right. a new level 9 character. <laughs> hey yo, shout out to the <laughs> dude that's still here who isn't in chat. Whoever you are, we love you. Thank you so much for watching. It means a whole lot. <laughs> and yeah! I'd like to say thank you Maybe to that's the Rift not me. Palladium. I'd like to say thank you to the Rift's Palladium universe for providing this 
awesome setting that we could adapt to 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons Wizards of the Coast. You guys are awesome as well. And we will yes, call I'd it like to evening. Say thank you. Yeah, thanks DM. for... DM. Thanks to the DM. Yeah, thanks for being the DM. Yep. No, dude. It was, it was awesome. I love this world. Uh, Aaron, <laughs> who helped, Aaron, who helped create this world with me, he knows the badass shit that we do. Oh, Please. this is nothing. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> I'm. I don't know which way to go. I'm so tempted to either bring Dragon. Just as long <laughs> as we don't have to fight to Spike go. Bitch again. <laughs> <laughs> that also has crossed my mind. That in some Andy, way Kino us, you'll find uh, Kanishi Corporation with the freaking uh, Sayo's freaking clone. <laughs> oh, dude. That would be badass. Sayo's I want to clone. redirect attack with an actual soul. In case you guys didn't know, this has been a world that we've been working on 20 plus years. What? Uh, started original with Dungeon Dragons second edition that we converted to Dragon Ball Z and Silas ended up becoming a god of Saiyans, so to speak. So yeah, he, he was the original Dragon god Ball. of freaking uh, Saiyans before freaking Goku was a god. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. He was. No lie. Yup. Straight up. Yeah, that's that's how we ran this game. But anyway, thank you everyone for joining. Thank you everyone for an awesome game this evening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys should check yeah, out no. before after you disconnect. I'm gonna be playing music on stream for like five to ten minutes, just as like a wind down uh you guys should check out the music because my brother actually produced it all yeah uh, cool. yeah dj flip no no we have uh my younger brother lil chin and then my lil middle chin brother and... uh zigzag and zigzag so you guys thank you check all out for providing the music all and right guys we will play all... music and we'll disconnect cool cool Thanks, Thanks everybody. We'll, we'll talk to you again. Good evening to you all. Yes, thank you. Sorry for so many crits. <laughs> <laughs> Keep hey, them coming, it I happens. say. I'm going to send you a, an actual dice pack of actual dice one of these days, Joe. Real soon. <laughs> well, I swear, I was going to go get one and then the virus happened. I know, right? <laughs> Stupid I didn't bullshit. say which one. But yeah, no, we can't. We can't specify. <laughs> I didn't specify. Right. I didn't specify. But anyway, this is the safest way to play D&D. &D. Thank you, everyone. Good night.